The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Jesus said to the disciples, Do not think that I have come to abolish the law or the prophets. I have come not to abolish, but to fulfill. For truly I tell you, until heaven and earth pass away, not one letter, not one stroke of a letter, will pass from the law until all is accomplished. Therefore, whoever breaks one of the least of these commandments and teaches others to do the same will be called least in the kingdom of heaven. But whoever does them and teaches them will be called great in the kingdom of heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. Today we have a very unique saint that we celebrate, a deacon from many centuries ago, Deacon Ephraim, who was in Mesopotamia from another culture completely, so from a Persian background, a Persian Syriac culture, not Greek or Latin like ourselves and people we're familiar with, but also something very unique about him. He didn't explain the faith or express the faith like usual. He wrote poetry, much of the poetry that ended up in the liturgy that has been celebrated in this church for centuries. But it just says to us, and it's good for us, that the mystery of God is so far beyond us that we just touch little bits of it throughout our entire life. And all the faculties that we have as human beings, whether it's fine arts, whether it's the speaking, whether it's the thinking through philosophically or theologically, or just the work we do, but including poetry. Poetry is a beautiful expression of just touching that mystery and allowing so many other people to do so. He's been a treasure of the church for many, many centuries and a doctor of the church. One is recognized as teaching beautifully and correctly the faith in its aspect and doing it in such a unique way. I also think of so many churches that it was a vibrant church before many sufferings that it took, went all the way to China, South India, India itself, all through the Asia, all the way to China itself, they found evidence of these churches, many of which have now disappeared. But this is a vibrant church of which Ephraim was a wonderful fruit that has lasted now through the centuries for us to be able to be aware of. So it's another unique little thing just for us that we celebrate his feast day today. Brothers and sisters, let us stand as always and offer our petitions. Let us pray for the special intention of this Mass, for the intention of healing for an individual. We pray to the Lord. We pray for also as we have for the intentions that each one of us brings to the Mass today, those here present, and also for those joining us on the live stream, we pray to the Lord. We pray as we have also before for all those who've suffered the loss of loved ones, and we think especially in these days of the families of anyone connected with the school in Kamloops and so many others who have suffered injustice in any way. We pray to the Lord. We pray for an end to the pandemic. We pray in thanksgiving that we'll be able to celebrate Mass now with 15% before too long. And we pray for all those who minister to those who are sick. We pray to the Lord. And we pray for all of our beloved dead, from our families, those who have formed us, those from our parish community here, and those that die today. We pray to the Lord. Heavenly Father, answer these prayers we bring before you. Strengthen us. Give us the gift of gentleness and love as we express these gifts to others. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. 